Sweet Savage Love by Rosemary Rogers. Narrated by Keith Cummings. His voice sounded coldly reasonable, but she'd seen the way his eyes had narrowed, the way his mouth twitched in a mocking, somehow knowing smile. She could almost sense it now, his sudden awareness of her, the velvet habit clinging snugly, rain wet to every curve of her body. Her wide, frightened eyes and lips that parted as she panted with fear and unexplainable, irrational panic. And as they eyed each other warily, she, in her turn, became aware of him as a man instead of a hated blue uniform. She saw a tall man, slim-hipped, hard-muscled, with wide shoulders and a lean, sun-brown face that formed a surprising contrast to his very blue eyes. His wet uniform, plastered closely to his body, left nothing to her imagination, not even the fact that he'd begun to desire her. Instinctively, shockingly, Sonny's eyes had dropped downward, and now she raised them quickly with a muffled, horrified cry. Her pale cheeks flushed bright crimson. Do you expect me to apologize? There are some things a man cannot control, I'm afraid. His voice was pleasant, but he smiled at her impudently. Sonny took a backward step, her hands crossing instinctively over her full breast. Don't, don't come near me. I'll scream if you take one step. You think anyone will hear if you do? Over that noise? A sudden rattle of thunder seemed to shake the whole building. She jumped, gasping, frightened even more by his words. Perhaps he sensed something of her blind terror for he shrugged, studying her face. You have no cause for worry, ma'am. Believe me, I have no intention of raping you, if that's what you fear. In spite of evidence to the contrary, he added wickedly, his eyes fastened derisively on her. 